Hola Aguilas, it's Miss Spree. I apologize about the late upload, but today we are reading The Girl Who Thought in Pictures, the story of Dr. Temple Grandin. It is written by Julia Finley Mosca and it's illustrated by Daniel Riley. This story holds a special place in my heart because as you all know, I love all things cows and my dairy. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the read aloud. The Girl Who Thought in Pictures, the story of Dr. Temple Grandin. If you've ever felt different, if you've ever been low, if you don't quite fit in, there's a name you should know. Temple Grandin's that name. In her tale, you'll find glory. So get ready, get set for this cowgirl's true story. In the city of Boston, one hot summer day, a sweet baby was born. It was Temple, hooray! Unique from the start, an unusual girl. She loved spinning in circles and watching things twirl. But something she hated, like certain loud sounds, are bright, crowded places, large cities and towns. Frilly dresses with tags made her itch pull and tug. Something else that she hated, a big squeezy hug. A shy loner, this temple, but when she got mad, when her feelings of stress and frustration got bad, quite a tantrum she'd throw. Kick, holler, bang, shriek. Yet still, by age three, not one word did she speak. She never, she'll never be normal. That's what some did say. Her brain's not quite right. You must send her away. Away? Not my temple, her mother proclaimed. We will figure this out. You should all be ashamed. Then little by little, though sometimes she balked, special teachers helped temple. And one day, she talked. And that thing with her brain, it was autism, see? She was different, not less. They all finally agreed. Like most kids her age, she loved ice cream and art. But the way Temple thought, that's what set her apart. If something was mentioned, for instance, a fly, in her mind she'd see dozens of photos buzz by. When the time came from school, let's just say that was hard. Kids taunted and chased her all over the yard. They picked on poor Temple, how crazy it drove her. They teased her for saying things over and over, and over, and over, and over. Look at her! Until finally, she snapped. Yes, she did, lost her cool. Threw a book at a kid and was kicked out of school. No one really got Temple, and but well, then again, the truth of it was Temple didn't get them. You need time away, her, said her mom. That's what's best. You'll go visit your aunt on a ranch way out west. And guess what? Fitting in on a farm was less stress. Since the pigs didn't care if her hair was a mess. Qu 
quite a sweet spot she had for the cows in their herds, such big gentle beasts who knew nothing of words. As she watched her new friends, and a thought popped in her head. These cows think like me in pictures instead. At a new school that fall, Temple found more support and a teacher who taught her you'll never fall short. When you find what you're good at like science, you'll soar. And that teacher was right. He had opened a door. So she built a machine like she'd seen on some farms, an invention that hugged her with boards and not arms. It worked. She had done it. From memory, it's true. And just like the cows, it made Temple calm too. I can tell you from my background working with cattle that um, shoots really do work. And Temple was right. That's exactly how they work. I'm special, she thought, like a bright shooting star. My attention to details could help me go far. Though her study, through her studies, she learned, there was farms not so kind. I will help them, she said. Some solutions she'd find. So cows actually do move in circles and like S shapes. They don't really like narrow um, halls. And these pictures are really good explanations on things. They don't like to be on cement. Um, they prefer something graded because of their hooves. And yeah, so I thought that was really cool too. And then something cool. Can you guess? Could it be? Off to college she went. A degree. She earned three. And though ladies weren't experts on farms at the time, do you think that stopped Temple? No way. She did fine. She stepped through that door and went forward. No tears. She took on the world, but at times she had fears. Because some things were scary, like people she'd meet, who'd ignore her ideas and, well, wouldn't be sweet. But she never gave up, learned her stuff through and through, like why cattle will circle, and what makes them moo. To build better farms was her goal. She would do it. Be kind to our creatures. They have feelings, and she knew it. Let me tell you, they do have feelings just like dogs. And slowly but surely, she changed many minds until farm after farm built her awesome designs. Word spread about Temple. Her feet's not so small. Temple Grandin, she's grand. She's the grandest of all. Now, for these things and more, she's won honors and prizes, and a movie was made. But the biggest surprise is that girl with the future that couldn't be bleaker. Yes, the once silent girl, she is now a big speaker. Today, she, she spreads hope with her stories and speeches from New York to Sydney to Rome Temple Teachers. Each person is special, so unique are our minds. This world needs your ideas. It takes brains of all kinds. So here is the lesson. Feeling odd or offbeat, being different might just be what makes you so neat. Don't let doubt hold you back, not for one minute more. Stand tall and like Temple, march right through that door. Dear reader, as a child, I was really glad that my mother always encouraged my ability in art. I encourage you to find something that you are good at and work on developing it. If you are interested in becoming a scientist like me, find cool new ways to look at things such as microscopes and telescopes. Explore nature. Think up your own 
Think up your own hands-onic science experiments. Keep learning, especially from your mistakes. Temple Grandin. I actually bought this book for Emmy. We do not have it in the library, but after reading it, I was super into the rhyming and I thought the timelines were super interesting. So I think I'm going to actually get a hold of um, this series and place it in our library for you guys. If you are super interested in Temple Grandin's story and you want to read through the additional stuff, I will go ahead and let you borrow this book if you're on campus. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and get into the takeaways. What did this book teach you about autism? And what were some of the contributions that Temple made to the farming industry? If you guys don't remember, you can always go back and rewatch the video or you can do your own research and look up some of the great things that she has done for the dairy and cattle industry. I first learned about Temple Grandin while I was in college at Fresno State pursuing a degree in dairy science. Now, my degree is in teaching and education and English, but that was once upon a time something that I wanted to do with my life before the library. I had no idea about her life story, but had known and used her findings and inventions my whole life. So finally having a face and a name to why things were the way they were really was amazing. So when I saw this read aloud um, book, I purchased it not only for Emmy and my personal library at home, but I also thought it was a fantastic way to touch on people with autism and some of the things that they go through in their life and how unique they are. This story is one that I hope inspires you to not only be unique and different, but to have a different perspective to those who are different around you. Just because someone is different than you doesn't make them any less of a person. Temple's gifts changed millions and continues to change mil millions of lives, both human and animal alike. I hope that you guys are enjoying this month's read alouds. All of my stripes is coming up next week. It is autism awareness and poetry month. So this book had some rhyming in it and run wild will also have poetry and rhyming in it. So we're kind of blending the two together. If you guys have missed any of my read alouds, make sure you check out books and brunch with mrs brie on youtube and like and subscribe so that you always are updated when i post a new video i hope you guys have enjoyed keep reading for our ravenous readers and i'll see you next week in our read aloud <laughs>